Welcome to the first demonstration of speed limit, sign detection system and alerting driver by using Raspberry Pi. So here we are going to capture the images from this Pi camera and that will be processed by the Raspberry Pi in Python language with OpenCV and it will check with the data set from the TensorFlow uh, we are set the data set of the traffic signs. So from the data set it will check the matching uh, image and from that traffic sign will be identified and that will be displayed on the LCD screen along with audible alerts from this buzzer directly. So here we are coded this in Python language with modules of OpenCV and TensorFlow and Keras and the CNN. The TensorFlow work with the CNN, the Convolution Neural Network. Based on that, we are going to identify the respective traffic sign and it will get the particular traffic sign number and based on the conditions, we are going to displaying that speed levels per kilometer hour and audible alerts. So coming to the interfacing connections, we have interfaced the buzzer at the 21 GPIO pin and LCD interface at 17, 27, 22, 9, 10, 11 pins of our Pi 3. So here we have coded the Raspberry Pi OS initially inside this 32 GB memory card and then after we have coded the Python code inside that. So before on the kit, because in this version we are going to run the code by scripting from the mobile phone. So for that to access the Raspberry Pi from the mobile phone we need to enable the hotspot in your phone. Change the hotspot name to project 5467 and the password 129 and the band should be 2.4 gigahertz. And after that install the juice application. This is the icon which is available in the play store. Okay. Right, so I'm going to delete that. I'll show you from starting onwards. So when we open the application, it will show you in this manner and stay on the screen and on the hotspot now on the power supply to the Raspberry Pi. So while we are demonstrating the project, we should take care of the lighting should be fall properly on the this traffic signs, no darkness so that we will get the high accurate data. Right. So there we get the Raspberry Pi number. So now click on that. Copy this IP address. So 192.168.186.241. And now go to Juice, Manage Connections, Add the connection. Type should be Telnet. And uh, enter the IP address which we got from the settings 186 and 241. 241 and identify is pi so when we enter the new it will ask for the nickname and username nickname pi type username small letter pi and uh, set the password is raspberry r a s p b e r r y all are small letters only and then after Right, and now we can connect. So it connected, it will show you the directly Raspberry Pi. And now here execute this execute, execute this our uh, script by using this command line sh space l a n c h r dot s h and enter. And now so now the system is executing our scripting and it will uh, loading the data set initially. So it will take maximum 15 to 20 seconds duration for script execution after data set loaded. Then the buzzer will on and off two times and then welcome message will be displayed on the LCD screen. Right. Okay. And now you can lock the phone. No need to control and monitor from the phone. So now it is monitoring. So when we show this here right. so now we are demonstrating that as you should take care of the extra light should not fall on the camera only light should fall on this traffic sign only right. so as you can see the LCD so it's showing that 
speed limit is 100 and the next traffic sign kilometers per hour traffic sign so like that it can detect five traffic signs for the speed uh, alerts